open the door and y'all there's no package i'm looking on the ground like there's no package and it's cold outside so i'm about to close the door do you know I was totally not expecting to be recording a video today, but I had to come on because my weekend was just amazing. And I have to tell you guys about it, okay? So, um, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Gabrielle. I also go by Gaby, and here on the channel, we are Miss GCH. And yeah, I'm super excited that you're here with us today. I am sharing on something that I haven't really talked about a whole lot. Honestly, I think the last video I made about my relationship was in December maybe when I talked about being long distance um and I'm finally gonna share some news that I've been you guys I'm like cheesy because I'm so happy I'm so excited okay and I know you guys will be too so it's fine anywho um yeah so I'll tell you guys about how I've been uh, long distance with my boyfriend since July um <clears throat> we're coming up almost on a year now but um yeah, in July he moved to Houston, Texas. And, um, yeah, so in the past couple months, uh, he was talking about the likelihood that he would be moving back to Ohio. And, um, I expected him to be in Houston. We both expected that he would be in Houston for about a year when he first moved. Um, but some plans changed and some things changed once he got down there. And so it was kind of like, okay, what's the next step? What's the next, next phase? And I never wanted to like <laughs> rush him into coming back or like the idea of coming back. And you know, some of my friends would ask me like, well, would you move to Houston? And I'm like, eh, like I visited Houston, but to say that I would want to live there would just be, it just felt really random for me. Like, why would I do that unless he you know was really set on being down there and had some really awesome opportunities and was like you know it would make sense for us to start building here then I would have been open to moving there but um yeah so the discussion became okay will he be moving back to Ohio and so as of like the past few weeks we knew like okay he is definitely moving back uh, again didn't expect it to be this soon but obviously I was excited at the idea that he would be moving back so we knew it was going to be before I flew to Baltimore so I'm actually flying to Baltimore on Tuesday for a conference I'll be presenting some research at the uh, National Association of School Psychologists convention in Baltimore so I mean I don't know if any school psych people are watching this but if you are look up my name on the website because I'll be presenting with my um, classmate on our counseling project that we've been working on for a while but anyways side note you know anyways but I knew he said he was gonna really try to make it to um, Columbus before I had to fly out so um yeah so I knew it was happening like obviously any day now so I'm like getting ready mentally like he's really moving back he's really moving back but this is where my story time comes in today because this is just a story time video okay um about Valentine's Day so anyways this is how this all comes together. So he essentially told me that he was going to be home before I flew out to Baltimore. But then he told me that he got the opportunity to do a pretty big photography gig on Valentine's Day. So, and for real, he really actually did get invited to do a um, photography gig on that Friday. And so, um, I think we've mentioned on here before, like, he's really into photography. He's done actually very well for himself in teaching himself photography and his clientele. And just, he's just a beast. Like, I'm biased, but I just feel like he's fire. Like, I just feel like he is a beast. For, to be new at it, like, he will be my personal photographer now that he is um, back, which I guess I just spilled the beans. But anyways, um, but here's the story. So, yeah, so he told me about this party on that Friday. And, you know, he's kind of saying, like, I know it's your first Valentine's Day. Like, would you prefer that I'm back? And I don't ever, like, want to be that person that gives ultimatums or, like, a, you know... I just felt like that would be selfish. Like, when he asked my opinion about him even moving to Houston, I did, I could easily have said, like, no, I don't want you to move to Houston. Like, I don't want to do a long distance, and I'm not putting up with that. But, like, I don't want to be... That's not me. That's not my character, you know? And so, <clears throat> same thing with this event. It was like, okay, it's a really cool opportunity. Um, 
it's great networking like photographers it's important to build a network regardless of where you're living so i'm like i don't want you to you know tell them no after this offer and you know ruin a connection or whatever so i was just kind of like you know it's fine like i i know regular old valentine's day that's what i've always had <laughs> for the rest of my life like as long as i have you i'm just excited about the fact that i have you and that i'm in a relationship on valentine's day like the rest is subjective and I knew he would actually be here sometime this weekend or before Tuesday so I was like we can just go and celebrate love when you get here you know like it doesn't have to actually be on Valentine's Day well so yeah so he told me that you know he's going to this event he was kind of going back and forth then we talked about it the Tuesday of Valentine's Day week and I was like make your decision like are you staying for this event or are you coming back in so uh, by the end of that combo it was clear like he was gonna go to the event um he was super bummed about it whatever but he was gonna go to this event <clears throat> and I'm like okay it gets to Valentine's Day or actually before Valentine's Day he told me like okay well what do you want and I'm like honestly I sent him a screen shot of a heart-shaped pizza <laughs> ah! hungry hippos no okay give me the food I don't care about that other stuff give me the food so I screenshot the pizza and I was like honestly if you send me this on Valentine's Day it'll make up for the fact that you're not here like I don't even care at that point like it's just give me the pizza <laughs> I want the heart-shaped pizza so he was like bet like anything else you want I'm like honestly the other stuff is cute but the pizza is great like I will be fine if you give me the pizza so it's Valentine's Day and like, you know, he's doing all the messages and we were just being extra lovey-dovey that morning and it was just really good. And I was like, you know, when can I expect my pizza? Like, how soon can I put in my pizza order? And he was like, um, first he said like he would have it sent at 8. And in my mind, I'm like, I'll be hungry when I get off work. But I'm like, okay, maybe he has his little plan, like, a time of stuff being delivered. So I'm like, whatever. Sure, okay, 8 o'clock. And he told me that this gift he overnighted um, would be there by 6. And so this is where my brain kind of went like, hmm. Like, I started putting pieces together because I'm like... Why would he have to overnight it? Because he's been prepping for Valentine's Day for a minute now. So I'm like, if he really, like, if he was sending something, he would have sent it days ago. Unless he just, like, went last minute shopping. But it just was kind of weird. But I'm like, okay, like, you don't have to do that. It's a lot of money. Like, but thank you. And, okay, I'll look for this package that's supposed to be here by 6 p.m. And I caught him because he said it was overnighted the day before. Or, okay, so on Thursday, he told me about this overnighted package that would be there on Friday, but he said he overnighted it the day before. Do y'all get it? It was an extra day, and I was like, hmm. So anyways, but I'm like, you know, at this point, I wasn't necessarily expecting him to be, like, lying. I just knew stuff was kind of weird, but I was like, okay, that's fine. So then I get off work, and, um... You know, he was like, will you be home for the rest of the night? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Um, and actually, I had asked him earlier in the day, like, uh, you know, did you get your packing done? Because in my mind, he's going to this event. Like, I wanted to make sure he was packed so that when he gets ready to leave on Saturday, like, he's ready to go. So I just asked, making conversation, like, um, did you finish all your packing? And he was like, yeah, why? And I'm like, why are you defensive about packing? Like, that was another point when I was like, this is weird like why is he acting weird but I'm like okay it's fine so then um I get home and he had made some comment about his sister and niece from Tennessee being in town in Columbus so he was like you know do you want to see her they can stop by and in my head I'm like I mean yeah that would be cool but I'm also like you know to hang out with like everyone without him like you know we're all cool obviously like we're all really cool but I'm like you know to make your family come over my apartment it just was like are they cool with it? it just seemed really weird like just it didn't seem like something that would be typical for us so again I'm putting things together like this is weird but he was like no it won't be weird whatever he said all this stuff so at this point I'm home and I'm asking him like okay well what are you currently doing, you know, waiting for the, the uh, party to happen? You know, I wanted to FaceTime. I'm like, it's Valentine's Day. We're not actually together. We always FaceTime. So I was ready to FaceTime. And he kept coming up with all these excuses why we couldn't FaceTime. And then he started to kind of almost like pick a little argument. I mean, not like an argument, but it was just kind of like, 
it was just like a little like it was almost like he was trying to get me upset and I was just like, what is happening right now? And the thing that got me was, like I said, there was nothing he was really doing. And when I asked him, like, what you doing? Can we FaceTime? He was like, honestly, I'm just chilling before this event. Like, I'll call you in a little bit. And I was like, Negro, what? You mean to tell me you're chilling and relaxing and you just don't want to get on FaceTime and it's Valentine's Day? And you've been talking all day about how you wish we were together and all this stuff, but you don't want to FaceTime? Like... I've started off getting upset and then I'm like, nah, something else is going on here. But then I didn't want to get my hopes up and get all excited about like maybe he's trying to surprise me and then it wasn't that and then I was just going to be extra mad. <laughs> so I was stuck. So I like FaceTimed my best friend and I was like, okay, something is not right here. So I told her all the clues or whatever and she's like, okay. She's like, well, I don't know anything, which I couldn't tell she was lying or serious, but she's like, I don't know anything like... I would just prep like it's gonna happen. I'm like, you right. I definitely agree. So I clean my house and I'm like, either his family's coming over or he's about to surprise me or something. So regardless, I just need to get my house ready, okay? So I clean my house and, um, you know, had the candles going. I got in the shower and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just, you know, <clears throat> I'm gonna just be here just in case regardless of what happens so it gets to 6 p.m. and the package hasn't come yet and so then I get in my feelings so I'm like okay if it's not him then the package that was supposed to get here didn't come and I just have nothing on Valentine's Day so I texted him I was like I just want you to know like your package didn't come you know it's 6 p.m. and it didn't come and he was like fake acting upset and I know how upset he really gets when like stuff don't work out right so I'm like you are mad enough like nah something is still weird about this so I'm like okay whatever you know at this point I'm like kind of salty so um I messaged him back and I'm like yeah it didn't come he was like I'm so sorry I'm like it, you know it's cool he was like when do you want your pizza and I put now to be honest <laughs> now because at this point my emotions have been everywhere I don't know what to expect like y'all at this point we haven't seen each other since Thanksgiving the last week of November we had not physically in person been around each other for another three months and y'all know it had been three months um when I went to see him in October so <clears throat> I was just like all over the place and I was like I need this pizza so he was like okay cool I'll call it in now so he calls in the pizza and so in my head I'm like well maybe you know if it is him surprising me he, maybe he's gonna go pick up the pizza and then surprise me at my door like with the pizza so I'm still on edge like y'all I did not know what to expect I didn't know what to think so I get a knock at my door like an hour and a half later. Like I guess everyone was ordering heart shaped pizzas, and it's like the uh, the Papa John's person, it's the delivery person. So, but my heart was racing when I went to open the door as if it was gonna be him because I didn't, I just didn't know what to expect. But I looked at the peephole and saw it was a delivery person. I was like, okay, you know, I'm tripping. It's really just the pizza. So, you know, we I get the pizza, I go upstairs, I'm eating the pizza, and I'm like, you know what, Gaby, if this is all you get for Valentine's Day, it's okay. It's okay. This is all you asked for. It's a hard shaped pizza. You're going to see him eventually. He's moving back to Ohio. Like, just be happy, okay? We're going to enjoy this day. You're a girlfriend. No one can take that from me. I'm like, giving myself this pep talk and eating this pizza. So I'm eating the pizza. I'm watching, like, The Masked Singer and getting caught up on all my shows. Like, I'm going to just chill oh i forgot this part w with the package so he first he acted upset then he said that um he actually never sent a package and that he didn't have money to send the package and you know that he was uh, trying to impress me or whatever and you know was lying about it and actually there's no package and in my head i'm like okay this halfway realistic but not really like he wouldn't lie like he he doesn't do that he's not gonna lie about stuff so i'm like mm, okay if you say that there was no package ever okay so i'm going along with this but y'all then after all this when i'm eating the pizza and kind of salty but watching my shows he texts me again like okay just kidding i'm having someone drop a package off for me to your door and i'm like what and he definitely has friends that live in columbus so this is totally plausible but it was just like 
why so you said there was no package now there is a package you said it was coming delivery and now someone else is dropping off at my door like who are you giving my address to i was just like this is all over the place okay so i'm mad confused but i'm like okay whatever and he said i'm gonna have them text you i think he said when they drop it off and i'm like okay so he texted me and said like okay they said they're like 11 minutes out and i'm like okay and i'm like I, at this point I, I again yo i don't know what to think so i'm just like chilling i'm like whatever so his sister, his little sister texted me, um, and she was like, hey, just drop the package off at your door. And so I'm reading this, like, walking to the door for this package that he has been, you know, going back and forth about. So I'm walking toward the door, but I'm thinking, like, that also doesn't make sense because, like, she would have knocked on the door and come inside. Like, I was about to text her, like, why didn't you come inside? Like, I, like what? You just dropped a package at my door and turned around and walked away? It was just, like, really, like, nah. This is weird. So I texted back like, oh my gosh, like you were in town. She was like, yeah, I'm in Columbus for a period of time. This is all while I'm walk like walking to the door. Okay, I have stairs like I'm going down. So I open the door and y'all, there's no package. I'm looking on the ground like there's no package. And it's cold outside. So I'm about to close the door. Do you know that Luther John Johnson <laughs> jumped from around the corner into my doorway and I literally I hit the ground because y'all even though I was going back and forth in my head of like is it him is it not again I hadn't seen this man in three months so the reality that like I was doing the math in my head of him driving it is a 17 hour drive to Columbus 17 hours okay so I'm doing the, the math in my head of like when I saw him still in Houston and the fact that he is not at my door it just was like what like I I was stunned I was stunned Stunned. um so we had our whole moment and i was just like tripping y'all tripping 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 so it was really awesome to think about the fact that he did that drive he was so exhausted y'all like he immediately went to the bathroom he immediately laid down on my couch like i just need to breathe <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how you sustained life after doing that drive like that. Like, that was insane. And for him to do that so he could make it on Valentine's Day, and he knew that would make that day, like, a million times more special for me. Because I wasn't expecting him for a few more days, like I told y'all. So, it was just crazy. It was absolutely crazy, and it was honestly the most perfect thing it was the most perfect thing but it didn't even stop there so the next day we went to breakfast at the pancake house um here in columbus which was fire um and then we left there and i took him to the mall i mean he drove but <clears throat> my car <laughs> um but i took him to the mall because i was like you know i want to get you something that you've been talking about for a while so i ended up getting him a gold chain which is like i said something that he's been talking talking about for a while as something that he wanted and i couldn't really picture it i'm like gold chain gold chain but i'm like okay but the one we got like the guy that helped us it was so perfect and y'all i was staring at him like he was a just glazed donut for the rest of the day because something about that gold chain on the chocolate skin with the outfit he had on I was just like mmm happy Valentine's Day like to me that was a gift to me okay but um so we got that for him and then we went to see the photograph so we went and checked out that movie which was so awesome like we went in the theater with the recliner seats and like really just got to chill and just indulge in a love story while like living out our own love story that's so crazy it just was so like the day was fire the day was fire so i know a lot of y'all are about to ask so where the heck is he i don't get it he moved back why is he not in this video well um so yesterday i was gonna vlog but i totally didn't expect him to be here and i just really wanted to soak up all his time and just be together yesterday um but like i said his sister and his niece are in town from tennessee they're actually all in akron so he went to akron to see them um she was never well she was in columbus but she didn't actually come and drop anything by my door obviously it was him um but yeah so she's in town so he went home to see his family and just you know surprise his family because the only people that knew he was coming in town was his little sister and his mom so i let him go be with his family in akron our hometown um but he is officially back in ohio which is the news ah! i said 
survived, guys. I survived seven months of a long distance relationship. And I would just like to pat myself on the back because I didn't think I could do it. But here we are. We did it. By the grace of God, we made it. Like we were intentional and we made it. And I'm just super excited to see what this next chapter holds. Obviously, you guys will see him. That is why I'm telling you about this because he will be around now somebody just asked me on the other video like <laughs> actually she said um when will your fiance be back on and i'm like oh sis i mean come on and prophesy but he's not my fiance yet but um they will be around guys you will see him i know that one video is the only one we've done on this channel where he was on it um we actually planned for i mean he was in videos from when i picked him up for thanksgiving and all that but y'all know the story about that and all that footage i lost with um my hard drive you know r.i.p to the hard drive so um anyways <clears throat> y'all will see him he will be around and i don't know what kind of content we will do it definitely is not going to turn into a couple's channel but you will see him <laughs> every once in a while and i'm just excited to see what this year holds for us like we've been taking some big moves remember i told you i have multiple big announcements for you guys the rest are coming this is the first of many um but yeah there's some really good things ahead for us god is doing some amazing things with our our relationship um and just yeah i'm excited i'm excited now for this next chapter for us being in person um and yeah i just i'm super excited so keep us in your prayers guys for all the reasons okay just when you think of us pray for us uh but i'm looking forward to what this year holds so that was my valentine's day slash weekend it was amazing my first official one as a girlfriend like god is dope and i'm just really happy if you couldn't tell by the story time so i wanted to come on and do this for you guys real quick i'm gonna try to edit it and get it up for you tonight um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this if you did make sure you like and subscribe and comment and uh turn on the notification bell because obviously like i said there will be more to this so if you're excited about uh, my journey in this story then i hope you will subscribe and stick around for the other content and Happy Valentine's Day. If you didn't hear it, if you did hear it already, obviously it is well past Valentine's Day, but also happy Valentine's Day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.